Well, there's a new twist in the hazing scandal rocking the athletics department at Northwestern University. Eight former Northwestern football players have lawyered up as they consider suing the university. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is in the newsroom tonight. She spoke with one of the lawyers representing the former athletes. Marissa? Well, Joe, a reckoning for student athletes. That's how the attorneys for these eight former Northwestern football players say they will approach this lawsuit. And they say this case at Northwestern is just the beginning. First, an investigation leads to Northwestern University's longtime coach, Pat Fitzgerald, being suspended, then fired. Then opposition against their $800 million football stadium rebuild. And now this, a looming lawsuit filed by eight former football players. Steve Levin is one of their attorneys. Our clients are very seriously focused on putting a stop to this type of conduct. Prominent civil rights attorney Ben Crump, most known for representing families in police brutality cases, is also representing these athletes. Levin says those athletes have described experiencing an institutionalized culture of abuse and hazing that dates back as early as 2005. That includes forced naked acts and the Gatorade Shake Challenge, where players were forced to chug protein heavy drinks until they got sick. For no rational reason forced to undergo forced sexual and physical abuse. Northwestern conducted their own investigation into hazing allegations, announcing this month claims from former players were largely substantiated, but said the coaches were not aware of the incidents. Who Steve is at risk of being sued here? Our, our focus is on Northwestern as an institution. Levin's argument is that former coach Fitzgerald and the university should have known hazing had been happening for years. So far, they aren't planning to sue any individual person. CBS 2 legal analyst Irv Miller says the attorneys will have an 18-month statute of limitations from when the alleged incidents happened to file any criminal charges. I think any of these players that participated in hazing within the last 18 months, they should be looking for lawyers. If this happened at Northwestern, it could happen anywhere in the country. Now, just in the last few hours, we received a statement from the university about the lawsuit. It reads, in part, we have taken a number of subsequent actions to eliminate hazing from our football program, and we expect to introduce additional actions in the coming weeks. Now, when asked when we could see a formal lawsuit filed, Levid would only say soon. Now, former coach Fitzgerald has hired his own lawyer to represent him for a possible breach of contract. In the newsroom, Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Marissa.